Thank you for joining me, Pika Dude, in my first of many product breakdown videos. Today I have a super cute item to show you today, but before that, come with me to the wonderful city of Kanazawa, Japan. Capital city of the Ishikawa Prefecture, Kanazawa sits between the Sea of Japan and Toyama Prefecture. The name translates to Marsh of Gold and is based on the legend of the peasant Imohori Togoro, who while digging for potatoes had some flakes of gold wash up. So that's the thing that stood out to me the most when I visited the area. It was obvious that gold leaf plays a very not notable role in the city's culture. I saw it in many different products, um, bread, coffee and tea, I tried some of the ice cream, lotions, everything. And also, uh, Kanazawa is still known for its traditional handicrafts industry, such as Putaniware ceramics and Kagatemari embroidered handballs. Kutaniware, or Kutaniyaki, is a style of Japanese porcelain traditionally supposed to be from Kutani now a part of Kaga Ishikawa in the former Kaga province. So winters in the Hokuriku region are long, cold, and bleak. So there was a desire for beautiful aesthetics and bold colors. Ooh, look at the vivid colors on these lovely Kutani wear items. There's pots, cups, plates. Speaking of beautiful, let me show you some balls. These big, smooth, firm, embroidered Kagatamari handballs are a traditional art form introduced to Japan from China around the 7th century AD. They can be used as toys, but these days, Kagatamari are used more as decorations. And aside from arts and crafts, Kanazawa is known for many different landmarks. There's Kanazawa Castle, Kenroku and Garden, the Omicho Market. I had lots of fun at the Higashi Geisha District, Mount Kigo, Oyama Shrine. But of course, the most important landmark is Pokemon Center Kanazawa! The new location officially opened back in November 20, 2020 at Kanazawa Forest Mall. To reflect the beauty of the Hokuriku region, the Pokemon Company designated Milotic to represent Pokemon Center Kanazawa. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Products commemorating the opening of Pokemon Center Kanazawa were made available in store or via Pokemon Center online in Japan. Goods inspired by traditional Kutani wear were offered, such as chopstick rests, a long plate, and round plates. They also had items using the traditional technique, Raden Zaiku, that uses shells that shine in seven colors as decorations, such as this accessory tray and hand mirror. But the item that everyone was fighting to get was the Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield special box exclusive to Pokemon Center Kanazawa. Included were three reverse holo cards of Pikachu, Milotic, and Sobol. Sobol? Sobol? I don't know. There was also another holographic Pikachu promotional card available for a limited time when you visit Pokemon Center's and Pokemon stores nationwide. But to me, the most exciting item were these. The Pokemon Center Kanazawa Pikachu plushies wearing some amazing kimono. So those of you who follow me on Instagram and Facebook, um, at Pikadude store, may have already seen me talk about these. Let me come around the camera so I can make sure you get a good look at these amazing plushies. Check these out. So here it is. Hold on, let me hold it. There we go. Got it. So you'll notice the Pikachu was wearing a kimono. 
based on the style of the Kagatamari embroidered handballs. You'll see them kind of right there. As well as vivid colors reminiscent of Melotic. So you'll notice the inspiration of Melotic because it has like the little scale there. You could tell the headband is kind of that has a theme of the of Melotic's tail. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Check it out. All the amazing colors. You can see the different Kagatamari styles. Oh, look at they even have a cool uh, Pokeball Kagatamari. Look at that. That's so cool. They have another one over here. Look at that. So all the you can see, get a better look at the Pokeball Tamari. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, even the little bow on the back. So it's like a cute traditional kimono. I love the I love the attention to detail Pokemon Center puts in every single plush. You could tell it's a female because it has the you know the little heart shaped tail at the end. Oh, it's so cute. And the fabric that they use on the kimono is amazing. It's like a nice sturdy shiny fabric. Oh, it's so cute. It shines so beautifully in the light too. Even the tag, check it out. Oh, the tag is so cute. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. And on the back, it'll kind of indicates up here. It's Pokemon Center Kanazawa, just to let you know which one, which Pokemon Center it's kind of based around. And I also have, let me show you the smaller cute baby over here. Oh, this one's so cute. So this is the mascot plush same style just a little bit smaller and it has a nice beautiful gold chain clip that you could take it wherever you want clip it on your bag your belt if you're wearing your kimono make a nice accessory and then the tag on this one's also really really cool check it out and you can see the tag is kind of based on the design that they use for the promo cards it's really cool and they got the big tamari balls in the back with the melotic designs and stuff like that so cute oh my god but yeah if you're interested in these check them out at pikadude.com they're already up on the website so be sure to check them out there's also there's more details and pricing available there all right but well, let me come back around for you guys i hope you enjoyed seeing my product breakdown of these these have been like one of my favorite products so far just because you know obviously i love pikachu but if there's other products you want me to do breakdowns on, let me know. Uh, check out pikadu.com, explore the products there, and you can even send me the links of the products that you kind of want to get more discussion on or a better understanding of what everything, of everything that uh, the product means and the symbols and stuff like that. Uh, but this was really fun for me to do. It took a lot of research, but I really enjoyed learning more about the products that I have and sharing it with you. So. Thanks so much for all your support and patience, guys, and have a wonderful day.